Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, welcome back, Tom. Well, rocker today. Thank well, yeah, I had to rock out uh, because we're rocking out with you, yeah. my friend. So, can it's, I tell uh, you? Bill Bell and so Kevin good. Fox, by yeah. the way. So first good. time I heard that song, I think we all remember the first time uh, we hear a Tom Cochran song, but first time I heard Lunatic Fringe was, believe it or not, on Miami Vice. Oh. Yeah, it was on, uh, it was like in the first yeah, season. Michael Mann was pretty supportive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was with Smuggler's Blues with the late, great uh, Glenn Fry, mm -hmm. the Eagles. Yeah, that was, was the show that. to be on back in the day, right? It was, and he did, Michael Mann did, uh, I guess there are three different songs on that. On Miami Vice, and then Baywatch. He mm -hmm. had a couple of my songs on Baywatch, and um, yeah, so he was very supportive. And now we got. Uh, it's funny. I guess the good songs maybe come back. I don't know the songs that are with relevance. It's on Mindhunter, which is supposed to be. Uh, oh. I haven't seen it yet, but yeah. it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Kind of a tour de force. Or the good songs never really go away, not right? Not exactly. other station I'm not supposed to mention, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about, but, is, the origins of the song are kind of funny and interesting. I'm probably not funny at the time, when because the original album yeah. that they were on, all the, all the songs on that album, a lot of them were, were lost and destroyed, right? And yeah, I mean, the whole record fell apart. I mean, I was just, uh, you know, uh, I was driving out west with, with Kathy, who was soon to be my wife, and... Uh, and I'm going, man, this doesn't, sounds odd. I hope it's just a cassette because there's all this crackling and stuff on there. And, and uh, unfortunately, it wasn't just a cassette. It was the tape had fallen apart. And back then, a lot of these companies used to send, treat Canada like a third world country and send us all, you know, kind of tape they would send to third world countries, you know. And there was disclaimers on the box. Uh, box of tapes and we used 24 track tapes back then they're very expensive but they all oxidized mm -hmm. and Murray lost a couple of tracks as well this was the late to Eastern Sound we recorded the initial so you actually had to go back re we had to re the we did the whole thing it was almost like we rehearsed the first record okay. <laughs> the first time we recorded it but did you kind of we went to LA the song then in the, in the yeah I mean it, it was probably fortuitous in the end I, mean, I was I was very very depressed about the whole thing at the time, yeah. And, as the whole band was, and we went to LA and we did it in three weeks. So it was like we had we had rehearsed it, uh -huh. and and it was it came out better. Richard Landers did a wonderful job, and and he brought in this uh, mm -hmm. crazy Austrian on keyboards, and Peter Wolf. So he's not yeah. the Peter Wolf from Jay Giles, and he was playing on the piano. And I said, "Man, you sound like Rachmaninoff." And he goes, "I'm not Rachmaninoff. I'm not a classical pi piano player. I'm a punk rocker." <laughs> And, he, and so he did that whole intro. Yeah. And then we got on the road. We were on the road with Jefferson Starship and Grace Slick, who was an incredible person. Just once she came to Tom. Tom, you got to tell me who, who did that intro, that incredibly haunting intro in Lunatic French. I said, this Peter Wolf guy. So next year, mm -hmm. I hear this song, Built the City on Rock and Roll. It was Peter Wolf wrote, right. the, wrote the song and, and produced the Jefferson Starship. So. I mean, the music thing is a big club that way. You know, yeah. we, we tend to exchange information. Well, and listen, congratulations on the brand new album. It's entitled Bear. It's an EP yeah, that it's features a, uh, not yeah. only... Uh, well, they're videos. It is what we're yep. doing. And, and Billy and I, we call it Bear because Billy and I recorded at Metalworks. And they're, they're video pieces as well, snapshots right. of the songs. It is available today. Check it out. Tom Cochran, always a pleasure. Right, you Good guys. to see you, my friend. Pleasure's mine. Back after break here in the morning show. We appreciate it.